Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. Hey, yo, what's going on? I'm Josh Martinez in our Duncan Latte Lounge with our guest, David Kushner. Hello, sir. I got to say, your name is a little challenging. Really? Yeah, Kushner. Because uh, being from New York City is just Kushner, but then yeah. that's not really your name. That's so the mis cool. the mis Call me that, Kushner. Kushner? Yeah. The Kush God. Exactly. All right, we out here. So I got to put you on the spot. You grew up in Chicago, right? Yeah. So, I mean, what well, are you... right outside, not like... Fair, but, but you've dealt with and dabbled with Chicago pizza. Yeah, all my siblings live in Chicago... Yeah. All right, but you know, you you had a killer show last night in New York City, which we'll touch on that in a little bit. Um, have you had enough New York City pizza to make a comparison between Chicago and New York? I have not. I just talked about this with my uh, guitar tech. Okay. Um, I definitely need to try some New York pizza. Lots of it. Yes. So that you could realize that the best pizza is here in New York City and not that casserole nonsense you guys have in Chicago. But that's <laughs> not important. Uh, let's that's talk true. about let's talk about last night's show. I. I Heard yeah. it killed? Heard you killed it? Yeah, loudest crowd. Like Really? Yes, by far. Now, what's that feeling like when you just strum a guitar or you get ready for the next song and bow, everyone and their mother seemingly <laughs> sings it back to you? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It's surreal. It's super special. It's, yeah, I'm super grateful. It's, it's insane. Words, and, words can't describe it. And literally about like an hour and a half ago, you announced your own tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. His own damn tour. That's a pretty big deal, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So were you nervous as you're like about to hit send on that post? Uh, what's that thought process like? Um, I didn't I didn't even know I announced it. My manager posted it actually. <laughs> um, He's taking us behind the scenes of how it works <laughs> with artists yeah. and social media. Everything you see is fake, guys. It's not me. No, I'm just kidding. No, most of it's me. But yeah, my manager posted it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's crazy. Yeah, gonna tour around the U.S. Some shows in Canada. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be awesome. Is there any cities on the date on the uh, tour that you're looking forward to for some reason, whether it's a food reason or a friend that now lives there that could finally see you perform? Is there any city that you look forward to visiting? Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to touch touch down in Canada. Okay. I've never played a show ever in Canada. Um, yeah, I love. Uh, I'm excited to play in Florida because my parents and uh, I have aunts and uncles that live in Florida, so a lot of family in Florida. I've never played there, so I'm excited for that. And then, um, yeah, yeah, I have a lot of friends in um, uh, where's where's one of the cities? Well, yeah, just like Chicago, whole family always pops out to that show. And um, yeah, uh, Pacific Northwest, mm. which I love in the U.S., like uh, Seattle and. Uh, Portland, so those shows are going to be super cool. I love those areas. Is there any uh, additional pressure when you're performing in Chicago, let's say, or Florida, and your parents are there, your family's there? Like, is there added pressure, or are you just kind of like, ah, it's just another show? No, no, it definitely takes away a pressure in a way, just because, I don't know, my family's there. You know, it's comfortable. Uh, yeah, I know they love me, and um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it takes it away, most of the time. So, uh... Word on the street is that you were on such a high from last night that there wasn't much sleep t uh, last night either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who told you that, <laughs> but it's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we went back to the hotel. I ate, I ordered food, and then um, I ended up hitting the gym at like 4 a.m. Like, I didn't sleep. Which is like the worst thing to do, by the way, yeah. if you can't go to sleep, because then the endorphins kick in, yeah. and then you're just up. Yeah, you have more energy, times 10. Yeah. Times <laughs> so uh, when something like that happens, when you're on such a high, you got to come back down to an even, right? That, yeah, which is exactly. natural progression or regression. And same thing when you're low. you got to pick yourself up to get back to that even. Exactly. What is, what is your uh, go-to when it comes to getting back to even? Is there people that you contact when you're having a bad day to bring you up or even coming mm -hmm. down? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely have... Super close friends uh, in L.A. and friend in Chicago that I grew up with. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll just take time for my soul, you know, rest, take it easy. Um, and, yeah, because it can get hectic and the world can be a very distracting place. So Now, speaking of distractions, we're all guilty of laying in bed and instead of just closing our eyes to go to bed, we end up on TikTok or Instagram or oh Twitter. Yeah. Right? We, we, always, we always scroll. 
Um, what's been the coolest moment in your career so far when you're just scrolling and something involves your song or even you? Totally. Hmm. There's so many. Um, if I have to choose, probably. Dang. Um, Maybe a celebrity know. that posted your song or something? A celebrity? Uh, who's posted my song as a celebrity? The only one that comes to my head is, I mean, I think he's a celebrity, Noah, Noah Beck. Okay. I don't know. I can't. Th there's a lot of other people that's posted it. Um, Crick. You seem to be pretty close with Louis Capaldi. Uh, in a way, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, and you guys have we're something. We're getting closer for sure. You guys have something coming up soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Got a tour with him. Uh, or not a tour. I wish a tour. Maybe one day. <laughs> um, Speak it into a existence. show. Yeah, a show with him in uh, Wales in the UK on July 1st. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to Europe after here on Wednesday. So to do some other shows. And then so what was what was that call like? What did he was it him? Was it his manager? Was it your team? That's like, hey, uh, July first, you're gonna be yeah. with Louis Capaldi. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I I went to Louis's show. The last show I went to was Louis's show in L.A. where I live, and yeah, I hung out with him. And um, yeah, he said he was like, yeah, mate, or he doesn't say. It. Does he say mate? Do Scottish people say mate? I don't know. They do. Okay. Yeah, he's like mate. Yeah, like. You're killing it. I love your song. Like, we have to get you on the tour. Um, and I wanted you to play that July 1st show. Like, I had to call my agent, <laughs> my team, and I was like, yeah, it was super crazy. It was cool to see him be the one to, like, want to get me on his, on his tour for a show. So Daylight is the song that's currently blowing up that everyone in this room is most familiar with, or at least recently most mm. familiar with. Um, what was that process like writing that particular song? Do you remember what that process was like? Was yeah. Um, right, right as I moved to Los Angeles, it was the first music session I had. Uh, sessions, it's just you go write music with the producer. So it was the first session I had. Um, and yeah, I was working on a different song that I wrote. And then sometimes I'll take a break and I'll just like start writing other stuff, even though I'm trying to focus on something else. And I wrote the chorus in a room and then uh, with my friend on the piano. And then I went home and then I finished it at my house. Um, and then I recorded like a little demo of it, which is the original vocals that you hear on the chorus and posted it because I loved it. And um, yeah, just kind of got, got some attention. That's basically it. So when you have a random thought in your mind at like 3 a.m. on a Tuesday, are you a notes app guy or a voice memo guy on your phone? Both. Okay. But mainly voice memo. Like, yeah. I always make sure I hit play on my voice memo like before I start just because like I've written so many other ideas and then I forget it like five seconds later and then I don't remember what I just did. <laughs> so what can we expect from you for the rest of the year and beyond? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for all the endeavors I have coming up. And um, yeah, working on a 12-song album, my first ever full album. And um, yeah, super excited for that. Um, and then, yeah, just a lot of shows. You know, the tour I just announced in the U.S. and Canada. Um, and um, yeah, festivals. I'm excited to start playing festivals. I'm playing my first one uh, in Europe next week. Um, yeah, in Poland, so I'm excited for that. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. Just playing shows and writing music, doing cool stuff at radio stations like this. <laughs> so we are in the Dunkin' Latte Lounge, so if you had the opportunity to sit in a Dunkin' for 60 minutes with any one artist that are alive, mm -hmm. who are you going to kick it with? Man, you got some good questions. They don't give these jobs to chimps. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell, I could tell. Um, dang. Probably the first one that just came to my head, probably B Bon Iver. Really? That classic okay. folk, yeah. yeah. That's the first time we've had his name here. No way. Yeah, the most common name is Paul McCartney. 
Oh, sick. Yeah, that's the most common name, but we now have to add him to the list. Heck yeah. By the way, you look like a young Heath Ledger. Do you get that? Yes. I don't I still don't know who that is though. <laughs> I don't. I'm like so out of the mix. I have no idea. I'm sorry. People have people <laughs> people have told me that. Uh, it's uh, it, have you seen The Dark Knight? I've gotten Harry Potter. I've got <laughs> uh, I feel here's the thing with the like uh, to me, <laughs> I feel like Harry Potter is more of like a characteristic trait yeah, more yeah. than it is a person because then at that point it's Daniel Radcliffe and he doesn't look totally. like Daniel Radcliffe but totally. it's like I get the hair or the eyes and if you had a gnarly scar then maybe yeah but I, I I definitely get like young Heath Ledger vibes from you you don't know who Heath Ledger is huh <laughs> you've never what is, seen is he an actor he was Singer? an actor yeah oh, the Joker yeah in oh, the Dark okay. Knight yeah I, then I've definitely I've seen I've seen one of those movies so yeah I've probably seen him <laughs> You have a homework assignment now to I will. watch that. I'm going to make sure I go watch it. And then at least one more Heath Ledger movie. Yes. That, that's what I was thinking. Ten Things I Hate About You is really, he has a little longer hair, but that's, that's the vibe yeah. I'm getting from you. Sick. He was a heartthrob. It's a good thing. I oh, promise. okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and an Oscar winner. Oh, sick. Yeah. See, yeah. A bunch maybe, of I'll, maybe I'll, I'll be an actor one day. I'll be in Manifestation. We're manifesting it all right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Well, one more time. Let's show love to David Kushner because he's about to perform. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm singing Miserable Man first. So, yeah, this is what I'm singing first. So, I hope you enjoy it. Let's pack our stuff now and run away. We can't be all we want in this small town. Our life was rough, so let's make our days what we want. I'll give you my last name We'll take our chances After all these letdowns Let's keep our patience Until ourselves are found Oh, oh, oh All we wanted was a place to feel like home. That's why we parted from our ways to heal our souls. I'm a small town, miserable man who does what he can. I'm a small town, miserable man who does what he can. Mm -hmm. I'm a miserable Some years now, and we're okay. We have some kids and built our dream house. We're eating dinner, so we're saying grace. Without the light, we wouldn't find our way. How are we standing from misery to this now? Cause we've been. Stranded, screaming this out loud. All we wanted was a place to feel like home. That's why we parted from our ways to heal. Our souls. I'm a small town, miserable man who does what he can. I'm a small town, miserable man who does what he can. Mm -hmm. I'm a miserable.
Thank you. Uh, it's All I Want by Codeline. All I want is nothing more To hear you knocking at my door if I could see your face once more I could die a happy man, I'm sure When you said this goodbye I died a little bit inside I lay in tears all bed all night Without you by my side If you love me Why'd you leave me Take my body Take my body And all I want is and all I need is to find somebody, find somebody like you. Never seen. You took my soul and wiped it clean. Our love was made for movie screens. But if you loved me, why'd you leave me? Take my body. My body, all I want is, and all I need is to find somebody, to find somebody. Thank you. Myself, I won't go there. Oh, but I know that I won't care. I'm try to wash away all the blood I spilled. This loss is a burden that we both share. Two sinners can atone from a lone prayer. Souls tied in a twine by pride and guilt. Darkness in the distance from the way that I've been living, but I know I can't resist it. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. You and I drink the poison from the same vine. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Hiding all of our sins from the daylight, from the daylight, running from the daylight, from the daylight, running from the daylight. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Telling myself it's the last time. Can you spare any mercy that you might find? I'm down on my knees again 
deep down, way down, Lord. I try, try to follow your life, but it's night time. Please don't leave me in the end. There's darkness in the distance. I'm begging for forgiveness. But I know I might resist it. same vibe. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Hiding all of our sins from the daylight, from the daylight, running from the daylight, from the daylight, running from the daylight. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. You and I drink the poison from the same vine. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Hiding all of our sins from the daylight. From the daylight, running from the daylight. From the daylight, running from the daylight. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Thank you guys so much. To see more videos like this, check out DuncanLatteLounge.com. And if you're posting on social, use the hashtag DuncanLatteLounge.